copywritten? Yeah, of <laughs> course. Don't do, don't do that. No, I won't. What up guys, welcome back to another episode of Genuine Talk. Today I am here with Ed Bassmaster. Ed, you win. <laughs> if you do not know who Ed Bassmaster is, he is a prankster, an actor, a comedian. He does it all. My man filming you right there. I don't know why he got a camera out. Man, why are you he filming? Is he filming? Yo, my man. He, he better cut. He look like he's filming. I think he's going down. Yo, hold his, hold his pocket. Yeah. Uh, he about to get a whooping, dog. Uh. I am so happy to be here with you because I've known you for so long. You're palace. from Philly, a fellow Philly guy. We met a long time ago. Yep. We've been friends ever since. How do you want to start this off? Sitting down. <laughs> okay. So I heard you saying that it's always been a dream of yours to be on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Have you ever tried? No. Why? They didn't give me a chance. What do you and mean? And I've been reached trying uh, honestly, by the time I was like 35, I felt like, you know, they're looking for like a younger audience. I never really pursued looking into it. But yeah, but since I was a kid, I would I would sit up late at night, 10 years old, watching it and thinking, that's what I want to do. I want to make people laugh like that. You would be perfect on there. You know anybody? Not on the show. Uh, but we, I'm sure we could figure it out, guys. Like, come on. People, yeah. Somebody watching this can make something happen. If you see how funny I am on this, you better not, you better leave, <laughs> believe. Be but, calling me. <laughs> yeah. We're up else. <laughs> Ed and I have done many, many pranks and videos together. Mm -hmm, two. No, there was probably more than that. Well, we've hung out a million times. Yeah. We're super tight. We always tight. talk about filming and we're sitting there and then nothing We're those happen. YouTubers that talk about the video that we're going to shoot for the last 10 years and never and shot never it. And never do it. Mm -hmm. Love your studio, by the way. No, so this is Ed's studio. He just started a podcast. It's called The Pushcast, right? No, it's called the Ed Bassmaster Podcast. I thought I've heard people Originally, say it was going to be called the Pishcast, but a lot of people said it should be called the Ed Bassmaster Pishcast. See, that's why you're confusing it. Psh, Unreal. I just filmed an episode with him, so you have to go check it out. This is basically a continuation of what we just talked about on his show. I'm really happy that you started this. I feel like we both need to get into this. Yeah. Okay? Well, this genuine talk, I want it to maybe become a podcast, but I don't know how to and create I, and a I, podcast. Well, I told you on the podcast, in order to take this to a podcast, we just need headphones. Yeah. And if we put those on, it'll be a podcast. Okay. You don't even have to be plugged in. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people might be interested in behind the scenes with you and why you never show your wife. I know the story because I know you and I know the family. She's super cool, by the way. Very nice. And yeah, her name's Jen, too. Yeah. But people probably like, we see the kids, we see you, but like, are you a single dad? You know, people probably are very curious, like, what the deal is. It's nothing really crazy. It's just my wife doesn't want to be on camera. She's the business pants of the deal. She wears the business pants. <laughs> and I respect that. You know, my 17 year old Jake doesn't want to be on camera camera anymore. The family vlog style I feel like that is a little bit different than me as a comedian on Snapchat and Instagram having a two year old grooming him to be a comic one day maybe. So I give him the spotlight a lot of times. You know I figure everybody has the right to privacy if they don't want to be a part of the show that's fine. Um, I don't care. She don't, don't matter to me. Do you ever get embarrassed doing these things in public? Hell yeah. yeah. Very embarrassed. How do you get over that? It's kind of weird. It's sort of like before the cameras are rolling it's extremely anxiety and you know like am I gonna go out here with ass hair in the middle of the boardwalk imagine if you didn't shave your you know <laughs> Once the cameras are rolling, now it's performance mode, that goes away, and it's just like you gotta commit to the role, convince them that it's real. So me, my whole thing is just convincing the viewer that whatever's taking place is real. Yeah. So you gotta stay and just kind of block everything out. Uh, people say, well, how do you not laugh? Well. Yeah, you're good at that. Uh, you, I tell you, it's it's hard a lot of times. I think I've seen you break character maybe like one time. Nope, it's never happened. Like a slight like laugh, but that's more like we're hanging out or something. It's rare because like I said, once I get into character, and the cameras are rolling, I'm pretty wrapped up in that character, whether it's Skippy or Mumbles or Chip Diamond. When I'm out doing, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm really him, so that helps. And I feel like I'm on top of the world when I'm walking around <laughs> like that and telling people what I think about it and shit like this and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> We did a couple public embarrassment pranks back in the day and that was like my first time I think getting out there where I was pushed to do something embarrassing that I didn't want to do and you were telling me what to do. Remember do you remember we went the, to the mall? Yeah, yeah. and you <laughs> went into the GNC store and I forget what you told him but he was super embarrassed. This video doesn't exist online anymore. We had to take it down because the guy right. found the video. He was really upset. I walked into a GNC. The guy working there, I was like saying whatever he told me to say. And she had an earpiece in and I was feeding her lines. I think I left the store and you told me to go back and just randomly say, did you ever think about it? A balloon no. knot looks like a butthole <laughs> or something. What was it? Yeah, something like that. A but did you ever notice that a, but a butthole looks like a balloon knot? Yes. And you actually went in and just said it to the guy and then he asked for your 
phone I number, was I think. so embarrassed. And the guy asked me for my phone number after I said that. And then it turns out he had a girlfriend. That, that's why he wanted the video. <laughs> he had a removed. girlfriend and he wanted the video to be removed. So we we took the video down. Remember the other one, the car salesman prank? He's making me try to buy a car from this guy and make him smell the seat because I pretend farted. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. Man, and he smelled the seat too. Do the seats absorb farts or not? <laughs> Do the seats absorb farts? Do the seats absorb farts really well? <laughs> Do you smell that? I just farted. Do you smell that? No. No? I just farted. You really want me to smell the seat? I'm sorry. I'll smell the seat. <laughs> He smelled it. <laughs> we sank pretty low then. We have really good memories pranking together. Yeah. Also, Ed is starting. Well, you already started the tour. Yeah, and yeah. The tour's coming to Philly. Yeah. It's December fifteenth, right? Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. go. Can I yeah, go? Can absolutely. I? I want to go. Absolutely. Can I come backstage? Yes. I'm coming. Yes, yes. I'm excited. It's only fifty bucks for the meet and greet. <laughs> Yeah, I did a show in the Midwest. We did six cities and six nights. It was a successful six nights in six cities. <laughs> so we thought we'd come to the East Coast. <laughs> December 10th through the 15th, we're gonna have a good time. Come on out, hang out. And I'll be there. As long as I'm in Philly, I'm definitely coming. And yeah. I'm excited for this. Well, I hope you'll be in Philly. I can't wait. The hardest part about it is just getting changed in between. The way we had it set up at some of these venues were black curtains behind the stage that I would go into. And I would technically still be on the stage with like a table set up with all the costumes set up and strip one down and then put one on and go back out. And this was six, five or six different characters. It was very yeah, tiring. You have to be quick, right? You have to be super quick. I would try to take like a minute and a half to two minutes tops because people get restless. And I'm sweating and all the costumes were sticking <laughs> to me. I couldn't pull them off. Like I had a shirt for Skippy that I couldn't even freaking get. I was sweating so really? bad I couldn't put the shirt on. It was like having a bad dream, like, you know, <laughs> being in school naked. It was nerve wracking, but it was fun. Don't get me wrong. We had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? I feel like when I'm in that character, that's my favorite character. And when I think about it, like when I'm Chip, that's the most fun. Now when I'm Ronnie hacking on people, that's the most fun. Or when I'm Testy acting ghetto with, you know, the jorts hanging too. down. Yeah, it's so- Cause it's so Philly. Yeah, actually, if, if I had to pick one, it might be Testy because he was like my first official character. He's from Philly. He represents, you know, my Philly background. Chip is also just so much fun because like when you see somebody that you want to, but you can't because it's rude, dressing up in that ridiculous outfit allows me to psh anybody and get away with it. I know when we were pranking a handful of people that were doing it. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's doing it. That's true. What do you think about how the prank community has changed over the years? Well, I kind of sat back for a little bit because I just saw a lot of setup stuff, or at least it appeared to be. Just sitting back and watching that, like, eh, I, I didn't want to really do it that way. So I felt like the prank game really took off, but a lot of them were staged. It is what it is. Everybody, you know, entitled to do what they want. I just felt like I couldn't do that. I felt like the prank game kind of got tainted it a little bit yeah I agree and beside like it, I, you know no hard feelings but I never called myself a prankster you know I've been impersonating people and you know class clowns since first grade the stuff that I did I guess some people considered pranks and then I was doing straight-up pranks like drive-through pranks the next thing you know I sold out and just went with it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think that the prank community changed so much it got real saturated really quickly and definitely then, got like, saturated like I agree with you it just made me not want to be in that category anymore right. I was like right. well I don't want to be associated with these kind of pranks yeah this isn't what I do like this isn't what I feel like I relate to it's just not my thing my kids watch that you know maybe it's just I'm old <laughs> how old are you uh, and like I said you know moving right along uh, what's that I'll be 37 no -uh. yeah you're lying yeah I'll be 37 plus what 10 <laughs> Ed grew up in Northeast Philly. I grew up in Northeast Philly, and now he's in New Jersey. I'm still in Philly. Like you guys know, I want to move to New York. Yeah, so okay. we switched it up. I used to live in Philly. You used to live in Jersey. Then you moved to Philly. Then I moved to Jersey. That's true. What do you think about that? Well, I know that you're going to pay a lot of taxes. <laughs> I already am. Never thought in a million years I would move to Jersey. I didn't either. Yeah. Isn't and it weird? It, it is. The star of the show. I wanted to show you Robert. This is Ed's cat. I know you guys are Nyla and Bamboo lovers, so I wanted you to see his Fat cat. Blobber. How much does he blobber? How much does he weigh? Seventy-six pounds. Seriously. I don't know. He's probably he's about heavy. fifteen. No, he's definitely more than fifteen. Twenty. He's definitely he's heavy. But he's a British short hair. They're supposed to be fat. Oh my god, he's so fat. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> he don't look comfortable. Look at his feet. Oh my god. 
Whoa, he's spreading, he's spreading eagle. Hold oh on. God. <laughs> I can't hold him, he's too heavy. All right, I would just put him down on the floor. I don't want to get clawed up. All right, but yeah, he's a big fatty. I know, when I put him on my story, people are like, oh, that's animal abuse. But <laughs> he, he eats so little and no table food or anything like that. It's just a big breed. By the way, how's Nyla? And bamboo. Bamboo. She's. I'm sorry. I got. Tongue, I got nervous. They're good. I forget which one. I guess it was bamboo. bamboo it would just Jump. be on the top of the door. It's like that wide, and he's like balanced on it. He does that every day. Really? Yeah. Still doing that. And on top of the shower, the glass door. Really? He just stand, he, every time I take a shower, he jumps up. Wow. He's that's peeking cool. on me. <laughs> Those cats were super athletic. That much I remember. So we were going to have Ed on Prank Academy, the show oh, yeah. that we did. What happened with that? I was wondering what happened. I was doing my show. You were doing your country a, music channel show. I, I wasn't country. It was hip hop, urban. Yeah, I had a show on CMT. You guys were filming that at the same time I was, and I. I was really bummed that we didn't get you on there. You should have been on it. I know I should have been. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. We should have been on your show too. Should have been. <laughs> we messed up. I had no control over my show. That kind of happens sometimes. Yeah. It's out of our control. We could do a new show. We should. I've, I've said this to you before, we should shoot a prank, you know, where like I'm the character and you're like the straight and you know, we, you know, we, we, <laughs> I just have to come up with an idea. What kind of pranks would you guys want to see us do? Because we will do it. Like, we live close enough. And actually, I am moving to New York, I think. I don't know when. But so if I leave, we need to do it now. So give us prank ideas and maybe we'll do something. I got an idea if you would be down. I'm probably down. So Chip Diamond has a female counterpart. And you got to just let me go to town with that and get you in character and costume. What would I be wearing? It would be oh, ridiculous. So I would have to act like you, that too. You would have to like, be ridiculous, be... yes. And just like pushing. Talk yeah. Talk s to people. Talk s and pish people all day long. I we'll could try. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. All right. We'll think about it. Oh man, this is good. No, oh, I gave you my no. I told you my idea, which I said would be viral if we did this. Is if um like I'm in the background kind of because I do this great under the arm fart. Oh and, yeah. And and we're in public and and you bend down and every time oh, you yeah. bend down like. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great prank. Actually, do you have any unreleased videos? Because I have a really funny one. You weren't there for this. It was me, Jesse, Dennis. I don't remember if Roman was there, but we had these fake silicone balls. I remember. And I was wearing a dress and I had the balls hanging out of the dress and I brought a ladder around the city and I'm climbing up the ladder. I would go up to random guys and I looked like really cute. I was like, excuse me, could you please like hold the ladder for me? Cause I, I have to do something on this ladder. And they're like, yeah, I'll hold the ladder. And they're all excited to hold this ladder. And I climb up and the balls are like dangling and everybody was like, like holding the ladder and then I just like just for fun we have a couple of scenes where I was like walking down the street and the balls are just like dangling out of the dress and people are just like yo yo like like look at this girl and it was so And you guys funny. never put that We up. never uploaded yeah, it. Yeah I remember. I don't know where I the video that. is. I told Jesse that was going to be huge hilarious. It was yeah. so funny but it's also kind of controversial especially nowadays. Do you have any videos that you didn't upload? Actually we just filmed a um a scarecrow prank. Recently? For this, oh. Yeah for this Halloween but we didn't get enough reactions and we didn't get enough footage and I didn't get a chance to get back out there and do it again so you don't realize when you watch a minute and a half or a three minute long video how many people you actually pranked and didn't make the final cut mm -hmm. and editing into it oh my cheese and crackers it could take hours <laughs> that's a good point that you guys probably don't think about filming prank videos took a long long time to get yeah. the reaction several times we had to continue to shoot the next day which getting back to the fake pranks a lot of people started getting the, the setup pranks reactions. because it's, it's just so hard to get reactions right pay somebody um, it just got out of control. That kind of like upset me that that was happening because it took away the authenticity sure. of public pranks. Yeah. Psh, psh, unreal. Psh. You have to teach me more of that more if you of that. want me to do it. Well, it's, it's all the look. Oh, that. Well, that, I wouldn't be making that look. I would have to have my own look. <laughs> what should the look be? Psh. Serious? Psh. For real? <laughs> you think? I, my brother. Do you have a brother? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just told you. <laughs> but you lie a lot, so I don't know when you're serious. My brother um, grew up in Arkansas, actually, because we were separated at birth. This is a true story. I have a twin brother. We were separated oh, you're at birth. A yes. twin brother? I found this out. I'll get to the story, but anyway. How do I uh, not remember this or know this? I never told anybody yet. This is the first time. So anyway, <clears throat> I had a brother. We were separated at birth. He grew up in Arkansas. Never knew anything about him. Up until about eight years ago, I get a phone call from a fan who says, Hey man, been watching you for years. I'm from Arkansas. There's a guy down here who says he's your brother, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, 
whatever. This guy reached out again through email. You know, I get my lawyer involved with this. He reaches out to the guy, you know, he had a DNA test to find out who, you know, he found out who his real parents were, cause I knew I was adopted too. Um, oh. Well, it's my real mom and stepdad, sorry. I was adopted by my stepdad. Okay. My mom did say like, you know, you have other half brothers, but she never told me I had a twin brother that we were separated at birth. I have an aunt, she calls me one up one night and she's, you know, and um, listen, I need to talk to you. You have, you know, relatives in New York that you don't even know about. I said, no, I, I know I don't have anybody in New York. She said, no, listen, we need to talk. Uncle Raymond comes over, he's like, this is true. You have a brother, you have a whole family in New York. I can't believe you have a twin brother. What's that? I can't believe you have a twin brother. No, not a twin brother, a younger brother. You said twin the whole time. No, I never said that. Twin brother? No, I have a younger brother. He's 18 months younger than me. Half brother. No, he's my real brother. I sworn you said you had a twin brother and you were separated at birth. No. Are I you never... with me? You're <laughs> <laughs> like... I'm just trying to make some content. I'm just trying to... <laughs> so this whole thing is bull It was the never Yeah, answer. yeah. The ne and I'm like, when are you going to stop too? <laughs> I was gonna go on and on, and on. Like the longer this goes on, the matter she's gonna be at me. I didn't have anything to talk about. I was well, just trying I'm to. Well, I'm probably gonna have to chop it up. So you're gonna get the short version of what he mumbled on with. Sorry. <laughs> you. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> you're the best. Thanks for coming on your me on your t my house, but your show. You don't have a studio. I, I came to be on your show, oh, so I figured right. we'll film my episode too. Long. She was on my show. Check that out. The Ed pa Past Master Podcast. The Ed. The Ed Past Master Podcast. Past Master Podcast. And he has the video. Will be on YouTube, so you guys can watch it. And I'll put the link. There's one more thing I want to ask you. When you were younger, were you always like a prankster? Yep. Since first grade, I, I know I said I don't label myself as a prankster. But I would like, say jokester. I wasn't always pranking people, but yeah. I was always joking around. I get in detention in second and third grade for bringing in fart bombs. The glass, <laughs> the little glass ones you'd break on the floor and go up to the teacher all the time and make a face, yeah. And then I like, to do that too. Yeah. I got in I trouble would... all the time and it was always for trying to get a laugh all the time. I remember for April Fools, I would stick like a pencil in the key lock and then break it so that the lead would be broken and the teacher couldn't open the door. We would be stuck outside of the class. You weren't a prankster, you were just bad. And I remember I put like itching powder on the teacher's seat. Really? <laughs> yeah. Just dumb things, like kitty stuff. Yeah, I did some dumb stuff too. Alright guys, well we're gonna wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If cool. you ever want to see us collab, we're both happy to do it. So let us know in the comments below what you like to see and I will see you next time. Thank you for having me. Yes, thanks right. Ed. Peace, Peace on right. the streets, son. The merch store is up and running and I hope that you enjoy these pieces. You can find the merch at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. I love you guys. <laughs>